What's up, everybody? EMP Gamer Girl here today, and I am back with another Minecraft tutorial. Well, Redstone tutorial. So, um, a little while ago, I was helping my friend out building a um, kind of an alarm in a way. I don't really know how to describe it all too well, but we're just gonna say it's an alarm. Um, so, forgot for these ones, you gotta turn this down a bit because of the loading issues and stuff. So anyways, uh, so basically how this works is someone walks through and uh, slips on a pressure plate or flips some switches some sort of way and it pushes this light over to here. And then there's a reset way to do it. I can show you a lot of different types of reset ways, but uh, I'm just going to do this one for now where there's another pressure plate that resets it. So basically, I'm going to just show you really quickly how to make the uh, this version of it. And then in a later video, I will also be showing you different ways to turn it off, uh, different ways to set it off, and different ways you can use this. Now, this is going to have it set up. This, tu uh, this tutorial is going to be showing you how to use it as an alarm system. Uh, but you can use this also as a passcode way. Um, also, this is not entirely all my redstone. This uh, is more than just uh, mine. Like, I copied some of these things away from other people and stuff, but with the way redstone works, there's not really anyone's own sort of stuff is what I figured out. So, yeah. Let's just start off. What you're going to need is a sticky piston, only one. Or uh, Actually, you're going to need two if you're going to do the light way. So, you're going to need two sticky pistons. Um... For this version, you're going to need two pressure plates. I would just grab 64 redstone, and um, I'm not really sure how many repeaters you need. Uh, one, two, three, four. Like, I would just say go with like 8, 9, 10. I'm going to say 12. 12 repeaters. I'm also going to say 12 redstone torches. Uh, 10 redstone torches, and 64 blocks, and one lamp. So let me grab all of this stuff. There are many different ways you guys can use this. Um, like, like I said, I will show you many different ways to do it and stuff. But today I got on YouTube and discovered that I have 60 subscribers. So as a celebration, this is a new thing we're going to be working on and stuff is redstone because I've started to get the hang of it um, a lot so we're gonna go over here a bit of a ways so that way we can make this alright so basically what you're going to do is press, press, place your pressure plate down if I could talk correctly then you're going to want to dig two down and put your redstone torch some redstone and then a repeater now when you step on this it will turn it off you can cover this up, by the way. So, to dot. So like that. Then you're gonna put a block, and then another redstone torch. So it'll turn this torch off. Then you're gonna place a sticky piston down. Dig two down underneath redstone, and then place a block right here. All right. So it should look like this right now. This is the line you have up. So first you have this pressure plate with a torch. And you cannot put the torch right here. It won't work. So you have to put it right here. So, there we go. Now, what you're going to want to do is you are going to go above the redstone torch. Fly. Alright, can't get the fly mode right now. Put one right here. And you're going to go two out. Alright. And I'm also going to place two right here. And for your off switch, we're just going to do the same thing. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different ways you can do an off switch, but I'm just showing you this part right now. Then repeater. And then this torch. And then you're going to do some redstone up here. Like so. Then you're going to put a redstone torch right there. Then with some redstone, you're just going to link it all the way up. And then you're going to grab 
uh, two repeaters and repeat it. Right. And then you're going to just link that over to whatever you're going to do. So if you're going to do the, uh, the sticky piston with the, the lamp, what you're just going to do is put a sticky piston on the side, hit the lamp up to it, and then right here you're just going to get that. And then what I have set up is just a little uh, 4x4 redstone uh, circle, repeater circle. Set it all the way back. Connect it with redstone. And then go up like so. Place the torch to delete it. To send that signal going around. Alright. Put this right here. Now. Let's test it out. There you go. Turns it on. turns it off. Now, I will go through and explain what this ha is happening really quickly. So with this, you have the redstone signal. What happens when you put two redstone signals up like this? Um, nope, that's the wrong way of showing you. Let me get a lever. Because I know this will work. At least I'm praying this will work because it usually works. Yeah, it'll turn, if you turn a signal on, it'll turn the redstone lamp off, not sending a signal through. Turn it on, or turn it off, it'll keep the signal, just like normal. So, when you step on this pressure plate, it sends a signal which blocks that signal, which blocks this signal. It's like a signal jam, kind of a way. Because in a different world, or not a different world, but... Because this would send a signal out. So it's like jamming the signal, kind of. It's sending a signal, an off signal is what I need to say. When it does that, when it does that and you step on it, here, let me go like this. So you can see, it turns this on, which powers this, this uh, sticky piston with here. It also powers that, redstone. Which, a block, alright, so, alright, let me show you what's happening here. Alright. It has to be a repeater, it's remembered. Sorry. I'm not the very greatest at explaining how this works. I did borrow a couple of pieces of the des this design from someone, uh, but basically, the way it's working is with two repeaters, the block in between can work as a kind of a way to send a, to throw a signal, I believe. Yeah. So it's like putting like if I break this block, it's gonna turn that one off. But when you keep it on it sends the signal through, which is really nice and is something a lot of people don't know. So this block is sending the signal through to he over here, which is turning this on. Thus, this signal's already going around. It connects it over here and boom, the lamp is going crazy. There are many w different ways you can do the lamp, by the way. It does not have to be this way. Uh, if you were going to do like a uh, sticky piston going up, and then putting the lamp and everything. You could totally have the signal going like that and stuff. Right here, let me show you. Really quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Alright. So you could have it like this, and how you also could do that, would have it do this, so that way your wall of whatever sort of way you have it set up, you don't really have to see the redstone in a way. Well, what if you went like this? Okay. 
So I'm brainstorming right now, seeing if this would work. And it would work! You could just put a repeater back there, and that way you don't have to even see that signal at all. That's actually a lot smarter. Do that instead. So you wouldn't even see the signal, and you could just have this lamp right here. And then all your friends would be like, oh, when they try to break in. So let's turn this off now. So. It'll go back down and people will be like, what the heck? I don't understand. Why do you have a lamp here that's off? And you can just be like, oh, it's broken. But in reality, it is your alarm system to tell if they have come into wherever you are. Because when it's off and flashing, that could do it. So, anyways, basically the same thing with this one, except for, let me put um, the lever back down. Nope. Turn it on. There we go. So what happens here is it's turning this on, which is powering this, which is shutting off this torch, which shuts off this signal. Because when you don't have this one turned, it's jamming it, basically. So when you have it turned off, it's not powering up here. But this torch is powered over here. So thus, uh, and because you don't have anyone stepping on this, that block isn't sending the signal through for you. So, yeah. Let's go like that really quickly. Now, there are many different ways you guys can use this way I've done this. Uh, there's lots of different ways you could do it. Uh, uh, and that, the next video, will I'll show you guys how to use it with a comparator, which will be very nice and very fun um, to show you guys how you can do stuff like this. But the thing is also about this uh, technique is that you can literally have this set up. Like, you could have an iron door right here. And it will still power it just the way you wanted it to. So you're like, oh, okay. And I don't know about some people, but uh, in some areas when they will hear a piston like just stick that right there it'll go like this watch some people freak out when they hear the piston so and if you want the signal to go faster you just put it on a faster delay Yep. That would totally scare the heck out of some people. But I don't know if a light would. Which is kind of what you don't what you want. You don't really want to scare them all too much. You just want to know if somebody has been in your base and stuff. And that light would kind of to them they're like, "Okay, so there's a light going off, whatever." But yeah. So guys, that's basically just a little thing of what I've kind of been working on. Um, it works super simple. It's not going to completely freak out. Um, it's not a death trap. Like, I know how to make it work as a death trap, which will be another video. Like, I'm trying to show you guys different types of locks uh, for, like, vault security if you guys are on a survival server with other people. Um, i trying to show you guys different ways to kind of keep yourself secure and safe. So, anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please be sure to like and subscribe. And, guys, we have hit 60 subscribers. That is crazy. I don't know if you guys have known this, but I am going, um, beginning to start doing live streams up on Twitch. So, there will be a link to that somewhere on the screen. Um, so, guys, click on that if you would like to go and see, um, would like to see me when I go live. Basically, I'm trying to go live every, like, Thursday or Tuesdays. Which, today is Tuesday, so I think today might just be called Redstone Tuesday. I don't know. But anyways, guys, if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. But bye bye Gen 4 is under attack by an army of the undead. Please help us. We have very... Play dead. Play dead. No, can't he. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it.